Yeah, it was um, tough. Um, to use the old cliche, of course, uh, we knew it was going to be. Um, Cork were much improved in their second outing against Kildare, and particularly in Newbridge. Um, they obviously remedied a lot of their issues and challenges that they had the first day against Mead. Um, much more solid at the back, very compact, uh, hard to break down, and trying to hit you on counters, you know. So it's sort of played out the way we thought. Um, and yeah, look, at, at the end of the day, we're just happy to, to get two points on the road, particularly coming to a place like uh, Cork against a very decent outfit like that. A point up at half time, did you feel so much fortunate in that position considering the goal chances that they had in the first half? Yeah, they, they definitely um, created a couple of goal chances. In the first half, so yeah, we were we were happy. Um, a bit of a breeze there as well, but it it wasn't significant enough to be a, a three or four point type of uh, breeze, you know. So you were it was going to make maybe kickouts a little bit easier or transition the ball uh, from from defence to attack that that bit easier. But still, there was going to be scores going to begging, and there was a case of who, who was going to get them. Both sides finished with 14. You lost Lou Gannon for a second yellow card. What was your, your view of the incident? Yeah, look, I, I thought the two sending offs were a little bit soft, but they balanced each other out in, in terms of one, one from each side. Um, you know, I think just from our own perspective, um, with, with Cork having got a red card, you're always on guard then. You know, you have to be very, very disciplined and, um, you know, just we'd be disappointed that we ended up um, equaling the numbers there unnecessarily. So. And finally for me, two big pluses, James McCarthy back today and Jack McCaffrey, one of those trademark runs to get a, a crucial score yeah, right at the end. Yeah, it's, it's, so at this time of year, this is what it's about. It's a balancing act between getting sufficient time into players like that, some of the old stagers if you like, and, and also trying to blood some youth and experience and um, you know it, it's a balancing act and that's that's what we've been trying to do uh, for the first couple of games and uh, we'll probably continue in, in that vein uh, for the next few. Is he just on Jack? It's great to see that that same spark yeah. is still there anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, Jack's been a great addition to the squad, and not, not just for what he can do outside, but just his, his mere presence around the place. He's um, he's a very bubbly uh, character, and um, he's always in good form and uh, the eternal optimist, you know. So it's, it's great to have him back. He's talked about that balancing act. It is a bit of a balancing act between getting results, getting the minutes in, but not overloading, particularly those older lads. Yeah, says, right? yeah, because it's 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 a very competitive division. Um, you know, there's Cork, two defeats now, and, and Cork are very very decent side. You know, and they'll be probably disappointed to find themselves in that situation. It could have been us today. You know, we were probably Cork missed uh, a lot more chances than they would have wanted, and. Um, you know, we could have ended up on the, on the receiving side and, uh, you know, it, it makes it very interesting for us then from that point of view, you know. So it's uh, it's 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 very tough and competitive and you, you have to be mindful that while you might be trying to experiment a little bit, you still want to be uh, fiercely competitive when it comes to games like this and uh, and, and that's the that's the trick, isn't it? You learn learning a lot with a win like that, like a two-point win, I suppose, the same as the Kildare on the first day. Do you learn a bit more? Uh, yeah, you do. Uh, you'd like to learn more than you actually learn and be able to bring it with you, of course. Um, the, yeah, it, it's funny. It's For us, it's about active learning. You know, it's just review the game, take what we can, bring it into the practice sessions and uh, try and implement it the next day, you know, and... Uh, uh, sometimes you have to revisit stuff you thought you've covered uh, a couple of weeks back but but that's the nature of it and uh, we're all human beings and we forget things at times so it's a it's it's a constant work in progress for sure yeah. and you're back in the frame for next Saturday um, no I think I think we have what we have now uh, for another couple of weeks yeah. is Paul Mannion back training with you yet or has he done anything with you uh, Paul uh, he, so he's after the, the club final his ankle still wasn't right so he was, t- took some time out to rehab but uh, uh, we expect him so he's been rehabbing with the group so we don't expect him to see him for another couple of weeks Is there any else we can look at uh, There's a couple of other lads on, on the panel yeah yeah. so they're obviously they're um, shaking the, the cobwebs off uh, this last week or so and uh, and uh, look at it it's just good to have them integrated back into the squad yeah. Was Owen Merchant no doubt was that an injury or yeah, Owen um, has been injured. He's very close to being back. Uh, he's making good progress and we're happy with him. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks,